Hey, it's Austin from Cork Bats, and I'm here to break down the Super Bowl 47 power outage that happened back on February 3rd, 2013. This was previously the worst power outage to happen in a 49er Super Bowl until the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 54. We pick up things early in the third quarter, and if you remember, Jacoby Jones had just run back the opening kickoff of the second half to give the Ravens a commanding 28-6 lead. The Ravens had just sacked Colin Kaepernick, and everything was coming up Raven, and... Oh, okay, the power goes out. At first, you weren't sure what to think. Is this an earthquake? Terrorist? Is this still part of Beyonce's halftime show? Did Ray Rice knock the Superdome's lights out in an elevator? Nobody knew what was going on. But before we could get answers, the NFL informed teams to stay on the field. According to the guys in suits, it wouldn't be that long of a delay. I'm working on it now. They should have it up in 15 minutes. So if you want to let the benches know. So someone asks, where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? NFL control. NFL control? More like NFL had no control because it took 35 minutes before the game resumed. After a while, CBS is like, you know what, let's just go to some of those $5 million commercials we sold for this game. Plus, it's been a while since we've reminded people that Two and a Half Men is all new this Monday at 8, 7 central. During the delay, you had guys sitting down on the field, some were stretching, Ahmad Brooks was tired, he was probably just thinking about taking a nap, and Alden Smith tried showing off his ass to the 164 million viewers watching worldwide. John Harbaugh's probably telling Ray Lewis, you know, probably best for you to stay close. Remember what happened last time you were out and about during the Super Bowl? We don't want you having to throw away this white suit, too. Alex Smith didn't just want the delay to end. He probably wanted that entire season to end. He's probably like, I just want to move on to a team where I won't lose my starting job to a younger, faster, more mobile, and talented quarterback who will later go on to lead that same team to a Super Bowl. (laughs) Don't worry, Alex. That probably won't happen to you again in your career. Meanwhile, Joe Flacco's like, How the hell does this happen? just insane. Yeah, we asked the same thing about you winning MVP in this game. Credit the coaches in this game for keeping the guys upbeat and staying motivated, like John Harbaugh, who gave a real Herb Brooks type speech. I'm reminded of that Motown song. There ain't no mountain high enough and there ain't no valley low enough, and there is nothing that's going to keep us from winning this championship. I love this guy's face. He's like, is this dude really quoting Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell to us during a power outage in the Super Bowl? Eventually, the lights did come back on, the 49ers came back, and the game actually got really good. But since the Super Bowl is indeed a bowl, naturally, the team coached by Jim Harbaugh would go on to lose.